From its origins in resistance to its intricate blend of dance, acrobatics, and self-defense, capoeira is a martial art that defies expectations. But how does it hold up when the stakes are high and adrenaline is pumping? In today's episode, we're diving deep into the mesmerizing world of capoeira and uncovering why it is a force to be reckoned with in the chaos of a street fight. To truly understand the effectiveness of capoeira in a street fight, we need to explore its origins. Capoeira traces its roots back to the 16th century in Brazil during slavery. Enslaved Africans developed capoeira as self-defense disguised as a form of dance and ritual. It allowed them to train and defend themselves against their oppressors while avoiding suspicion. African dance forms and various indigenous fighting techniques from Brazil heavily influenced capoeira's movements. It evolved in the impoverished communities of Brazil, where practitioners formed groups known as capoeira gangs or malandros. Over time, capoeira has evolved into various styles or schools, each with unique characteristics and approaches. 1. Angola Capoeira Angola is considered the more traditional and older style of capoeira. It focuses on low and deceptive movements, emphasizing fluidity and strategy over speed and power. Angola preserves capoeira's cultural and historical aspects, incorporating ritualistic elements and slower-paced games. 2. Regional Capoeira Regional emerged as a response to the desire for a more standardized and organized form of capoeira. It was developed by Mestre Bimba in the 1930s and introduced significant innovations. Innovations. Regional capoeira places greater emphasis on athleticism, acrobatics, and faster movements. It incorporates sequences and techniques that are easier to teach and learn. 3. Contemporanea Capoeira Contemporanea refers to a more contemporary approach to capoeira that integrates elements from various styles and other martial arts such as Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, or Kickboxing. Capoeira Contemporanea aims to adapt capoeira to modern contexts, including self-defense and competitive settings. Whether you choose to practice Capoeira Angola, Regional, Contemporanea, or any other style, the essence and spirit of capoeira remain the same, a dynamic, expressive, and effective martial art rooted in Afro-Brazilian culture. Before discussing capoeira's effectiveness in a street fight, let's explore its benefits. Capoeira provides numerous physical and mental advantages to its practitioners. 1. Physical Fitness Capoeira is a highly dynamic martial art that combines fluid movements, kicks, sweeps, and acrobatics. Practicing capoeira improves strength, flexibility, agility, and overall cardiovascular fitness. 2. Body Awareness Capoeira emphasizes body awareness and control. The flowing movements and constant transitions help practitioners develop a keen sense of balance, coordination, and spatial awareness. 3. Self-Defense Skills Capoeira's techniques can be effective for self-defense situations. It teaches practitioners how to use their entire body as a weapon, incorporating strikes, kicks, sweeps, and takedowns in a seamless manner. 4. Cultural Enrichment Capoeira is deeply rooted in Afro-Brazilian culture. Practicing capoeira allows individuals to connect with history, music, and traditions, providing a rich cultural experience. Now, let's explore the strengths of capoeira that contribute to its effectiveness in a street fight. 1. Unpredictability Capoeira's fluid and acrobatic movements make it difficult for opponents to anticipate strikes and attacks. It relies on deceptive techniques such as feints, sweeps, and acrobatics, which can confuse and disorient an attacker. 2. Mobility Capoeira's emphasis on constant movement and footwork allows practitioners to evade attacks and create angles of advantage. Swiftly changing directions and maintaining distance can be advantageous in a street fight. 3. Versatility Capoeira incorporates various techniques including strikes, kicks, takedowns, and ground movements. This versatility gives practitioners multiple options to adapt to different situations and opponents. 
4. Timing and Rhythm Capoeira is accompanied by traditional music and a rhythmic dialogue between practitioners. The music helps create a conducive environment for timing attacks and defenses, enhancing the practitioner's overall fighting ability. Like any martial art, capoeira also has its weaknesses. Let's take a look at a few. 1. Ground Vulnerability Capoeira's acrobatic movements and emphasis on kicks make practitioners more vulnerable on the ground. In a street fight involving multiple attackers or weapons, being taken down can be a significant disadvantage. 2. Limited focus on grappling Capoeira primarily focuses on striking and kicking techniques, with less emphasis on grappling or wrestling. This can be a disadvantage if an opponent has a background in grappling arts and manages to take the fight to the ground. 3. Realistic Training Capoeira's traditional training often involves non-contact or light contact sparring, which may not fully prepare practitioners for the intensity and chaos of a real street fight. Supplementing capoeira with realistic self-defense training can help overcome this limitation. Capoeira employs diverse techniques to defend oneself in a street fight. Some standard methods include 1. Kicks Capoeira incorporates a wide variety of kicks such as the martello, hammer kick, quizeta, axe kick, and mayalua di compasso, spinning hook kick. These kicks can generate significant power and are delivered with fluidity and speed. 2. Sweeps Capoeira is renowned for its sweeping techniques which use leg movements to knock opponents off balance and to the ground. Sweeps can create opportunities for follow-up strikes or provide a chance to escape a dangerous situation. 3. Headbutts and Elbows Capoeira also incorporates strikes using the head and elbows. These techniques can be devastating at close range and catch opponents off guard. 4. Acrobatics Capoeira's acrobatic movements such as cartwheels, flips, and handstands are not only visually impressive but can also be used to evade attacks, create openings, or disorient opponents. So how effective is capoeira in a street fight? It depends on various factors including the skill level and adaptability of the practitioner, the environment, and the specific circumstances of the battle. Capoeira's unpredictability, mobility, and versatility can can be advantageous one-on-one. -on -one. The ability to confuse opponents with deceptive movements and its acrobatic agility can give fighters an edge. Capoeira's emphasis on timing and rhythm can also improve one's ability to strike effectively and evade attacks. However, it's essential to acknowledge the limitations of capoeira. In a street fight scenario involving multiple attackers or weapons, the acrobatic movements and focus on striking can leave practitioners vulnerable. Furthermore, the lack of emphasis on grappling and realistic training can be a disadvantage against opponents with a grappling background. To maximize the effectiveness of capoeira in a street fight, practitioners should complement their training with realistic self-defense drills, sparring, and cross-training in grappling arts. This will help develop a well-rounded skill set and prepare for a broader range of scenarios. Capoeira is an incredibly unique and effective martial art with a rich history. Its unpredictable movements, mobility, and versatility make it a formidable option in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Remember, in a street fight, the key is prioritizing personal safety de-escalation, and avoiding confrontation whenever possible. Martial arts training, including capoeira, can provide valuable skills and confidence, but it's crucial to always prioritize personal safety and use good judgment in potentially dangerous situations. That's all for today's episode, folks. If you enjoyed watching, leave a like and share it with your friends. You can also comment and let us know what you'd like to see from this channel in the future. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. You'll want to check out our other videos. Stay tuned for more awesomeness. Thanks for watching.